Well, well. Uh, the car's like this because I was sorting out my inventory in the cold. That way I didn't have to go outside. Can I get out? I'm not sure what I want to do here. Assuming they're going to try and get to me. Hello, by the way. You can easily forget about the wildlife when you're doing other things. Well, this is usually a safe bet. Oh, hello. How many are there? This is kind of handy, I suppose, because I'm not running out of meat yet, but it won't be long. Oh, they're trying to get to me, huh? Two shots. Or three, if you're not aiming properly. One. Two. The last one must have sloped off. Okay, well that was a bit um, unexpected. First thing I heard as soon as I fired the game up. This place has quickly respawning loot and um, during the night when I was playing through sorting out my inventory having a quick look around the local area not going into the main research facility I haven't been in there yet. All the loot respawned and we found another automatic weapon smaller than the other one. We now have two the other one is in the car, but we've got two magazines, one attached and one full ready to go. So not a ton of ammunition, but it, it will do me for now. And for our stealth purposes, the FX45, which is what I just shot all the wolves with. Bloody hell, there's a storm now. Well, I'm going to harvest up the wolves and stash it somewhere. I've not been able to find any nails, which is a pain. Because I need to make a storage crate at the moment I'm storing everything in the car and that won't do at all let's get on with that and then we'll get on with the episode so that's all three wolves processed if I remember rightly there was a wooden crate in one of the train cars down back in the yard at the uranium mine what I might do is transport the meat here down to that cosy barracks hut where we might go to recover after whatever happens here. But this is the lower area of the uranium mine that didn't actually search first time round. Look what we found. If we get this working, I'll never need to worry about storage again. Well, I will, because I'll just pick everything up. Until even this thing's full. I did have a look and it just seemed it didn't need a spark plug or a glow plug, it just needed a battery. Seems to have most, if not all, of its wheels. Never driven one of these things before, and if we take this over, this is going to change things quite dramatically because it's not very maneuverable like a car. This could be interesting, or it could be dreadful. Right, will you start now? Then they will. It's not got much in the way of fuel, and I haven't got any spare. Oh, I'm definitely taking this. Definitely taking this. Right then, well I'll transfer everything into the truck, drive it back up to the Research Institute, and then we'll get on with that. And then I can talk all I like about the truck later on. I'm quite excited about this. Don't do that. Oh, I have to get back into the car one last time.
won't necessarily always include every single EVR attack from this point. I certainly will if there's anything remotely interesting about it. Don't fear about that, but if it's just a standard a standard me getting knocked out in a safe place thing, I might not always include them, so just so you know. But hey, uh, right. How do I get out of here? How many gears is this thing going to have? a bit easier. Oh, bloody hell. It revs pretty easily. Oh, this is going to take some getting used to, this thing. Particularly going up hills. Yes, I've run most of them over. Of course I have, I've got a truck. Now, I just need to choose which entrance I want to go for. I think I'm going to try and get in on the right first. The doorway just, just there. scope on this thing. Oh, that didn't help, did it? On you, just as well, because he's pretty clueless. This looks like he goes further indoors. Oh, is that a new fire axe? Take it, it's better than mine. It isn't, it's worse. Of course, we also have the Vega shotgun. Almost forgot it in the excitement about finding everything else. That open, that doesn't. I didn't think it would. I think this will, though. What? Shot straight into the midriff. I better get inside before anything else goes wrong. I hope we're safe in here. From outside, I mean. Oh, wow, this place even has its own signage. Check this out. Ground Floor Athena Research Institute. <sighs> Sounds like they're all over the place in here. You didn't hear that, or if you did, it was too late. All quiet for now. Okay, well, this looks like a fairly decent place to start. The ground floor. Here we are, finally. Check everything. All the stuff. Hi there. Yes, I'm in. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, I don't suppose we're going to find a skeleton of a scientist clutching... Clutching his research notes, or anything like that. Oh. Maybe that's the door to the outside. I'll leave that then for now. But I'm hoping to find... some pointers to what to do next. Oh. 
just another stairwell. Okay, so that was just that was just this. There wasn't much else to this corridor besides going outside. Okay, we'll go this way. Shut the doors behind us, just in case. I might just satisfy myself what is right at the top of these stairs first. Well, you wouldn't want to fall out of here. The eighth floor. It does go to the roof, so that'll show me kind of what we need to do. There's lots of stuff around here to be searched, but I think that's probably going to be for another episode. There's another little army barracks over there on the way in. As well as things like the containers down there. Although none of them are searchable. Just like to say at this point to the person who some weeks ago mentioned how you could tell whether the containers were searchable or not. Thank you very much for that, rather belatedly, but it has finally sunk in. I finally, it's finally twigged. That was a very useful tip. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with me sometimes, but at least I got there in the end. So thank you if you're still watching and not stop watching in, in frustration. My stupidity. Uh, right, what else is up here, if anything? I don't know if there's anybody up this height. Close that just to be on the safe side. Right then. Stuff. Somehow that's not much in the way of a surprise. It's a crummy hatchet. Ooh, this is all sort of new. Don't think there's anything to be learnt from these, though. I don't think I can. Oh, I thought there was somebody knocking on the door. Oh, that's where we need to cross. Oh, this place is really big. This could take some time. I might need to. I might need to do choice editing here. So, if we're skipping through it, that's why. It's because it's very big. Elevators just don't seem to work full stop. Keep going down, I think. I don't like these staircases very much. Looks like most of the floors are closed off, so perhaps it won't take quite so long to search. And this takes us back to where we started, I expect. Yes, it does. Right, what about the other side then? Here's another entrance. Seemingly. Field transceiver. Oh. Oh. Subterranean area. use my head torch how many basement floors are there I wonder is there anybody down here well this is all a bit different this is what it's all about what was this another Vega yes well I'll take the magazine out of it I'm liking this battery. Where's this go? The claymore Ooh, what's this? Muon detector. 
This handy pocket detector can detect the presence of agitated muon fields, natural phenomenon often observed when the EVR sequence on the mouse is initiated. Okay, I don't really know what this does. Clearly it's important. Is this a warning device? Well, it needs a battery, which we can give it. So we just pick one up. Switch on. We're not short of batteries, so I'll just leave it switched on, see if anything happens. It might not. The only way is down. Or is it? That's all there is to the basement. They say we were meant to find that detector, and that's what that was all about. Look at my truck. Love it. I love it. I'll just satisfy myself there isn't anything else further down. There's certainly a, an open staircase, but it doesn't necessarily mean I can get to it. Let's see if there's an entrance on this side, because maybe you get in and then cross over that bridge there to get to it. That seems quite likely. Like the camo. Oh, by the way, yes. You probably notice I've changed my trousers, as well as the balaclava. I don't suppose I need to point out every single detail change. Oh, that's the way across. Okay, we'll do that last. Oh, yet another staircase. Another roof, maybe? Yep. I'll quickly check. I mean, it might be that that muon device is what we were here to find. I don't know what to do with it yet. Not sure about the far block. The block the other side of the staircase. We'll check before we leave. I've got to be pretty thorough. I think actually we've just come out where we were. Yeah, we've just come out where we were. So is all there is to the other side? Damn, I'm going to be too slow. Well, that was a bit of a waste. I don't have much ammo for this thing. Yeah, this is what always happens. I'm going to quickly get inside. Until this dies down. I have noticed this rather a lot. You take one down, and then they just start swarming. Right, I'm just going to wait this one out. I'm going to waste all my ammo just for them all to reappear after five minutes. So what do I want to do now then? I definitely need to find some fuel for this thing. Can't leave without that. See what's behind the hangar doors, if anything. I'll go around the block. get through this way. That's unfortunate. Well, that's fortunate. He just killed himself. Okay, well, I'll leave the truck here then. Seems a bit quieter this side. Where might I find a fuel can around here? Oh. This looks like a permanent... Permanent crash. I wonder if there's still stuff lying around. No, I don't see anything. Oh yeah, there's a wheel. 
I don't need one. Oh, there is some stuff in here. Oh, there's a magazine floating. Floating mag. Uh, yes, okay. Some rounds. Could definitely do with some more ammo for this pistol. These nine rounds is all I've got left. Yeah, oh, I know the feeling. Yeah, as long as they stay over there, that's just fine. I'll I'll bring the truck all the way round again and check over there. And I probably will have to actually just run everybody over again. Oh, that's huge. Look at the size of that thing. I actually live in that. That's for one of the SMGs I've got. Forget which. another pistol it is um okay it's not this takes 919 right so that's that's a simple choice fine that's good it's fine all fine everything's fine right, that's where we want to be See if there's anything to this. Oh, bloody hell. Came out of nowhere. Well, that's going to attract um, anything left alive around here. Uh, don't think there's anywhere I can go. Let's switch out to this thing. Right, they're certainly not searchable. Can get in there though. Oh, rather more to this than I was expecting. Oh god, what a shitty scope! This isn't what I expected at all. Don't know what I was expecting. Not this. Oh, there's more. A bit more anyway. More 919. Good choice picking up that other pistol. Um, another landmine. I can't imagine I'm going to really need those. I've got one. I might be able to use it as an anti-bear device, but that would take some setting up, and I'd probably kill myself doing it. Right, so this scope needs to go, I think. That's a piece of crap. Oh, no. Why can I not... Body armor. Oh, bad, bad news. Bad news, folks. It's, oh, well, it's, I can't go that way. Total pig's ear made of that. Quickly. Oh, good grief. I need to just get safe for a minute. Can I just... I don't know where I am safe. Oh, shh. A lot of them have got this body armor on. Oh. Were you the last of them? Oh, I haven't done that for a while, have I? Another Vega. 
Another magazine. I don't think I need another one. That doesn't open. I feel somehow relieved. Nice backpack, nice small backpack. I think that is it. That really is it. Well then. More like it. Oh dear. Oh bloody hell. Get in. Quick. Get in. Oh, don't close the door. Shit. What have I done? What have I done now? Hope I'm safe here. Otherwise, I'm dead. Well, it's been a while since everything went to shit like that. By a miracle, I seem to be okay here. Where is my pistol? Right, it's on my holster. Right. Well, there's no use in having the suppressor on there. This has got to be the most crazy ending to an episode I've done. I don't know why they're not hitting me, but they're not. But you see what I mean by how quickly they respawn? You standing on a turntable? Oh, stop missing them. I think I better get back in the truck before I get myself killed. Couldn't find the sweet spot for getting in, and there it is. If it hadn't been for that last five minutes, I thought I would have said it was quite a successful episode, but that has set me back psychologically by about six months. Okay then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you'll join me for the next instalment, wherever that is. Bye for now.